time to spill the tea with Spicy V. Welcome to Spill the Tea with Spicy V. Today we are here with the It Girl, Summer Sales, host of the Say Some Show and the main character of BB Can 10. Welcome to the show, Summer. Hey, Boo. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. I'm so excited to have you. I have actually manifested this. So I have my first question ready for you off the jump. Okay. There was a time where there was an eviction and the camera was zoomed in on you. Twitter went nuts for your skin and your hair. And I have a tweet. I'm putting, okay. it, I'm putting it up right here. Okay. That said, I will get Summer on my show and I will ask her her skincare routine. So, oh. the people want to know. <laughs> okay, to be honest with you, I'm not loyal to any single brand. Like, I buy whatever's on sale. So, I guess the routine is like, you know, sticking to my name and buying things that are on sale. So, <laughs> you know, like an exfoliant, a cleanser, a toner, all those things. I get all those products, but they're on sale. <laughs> I love that you were on BB Can. Like, was that like a big dream for you? Like, were you so pumped? Um, so it. It became a dream after like I learned about it because it started off with like a coworker who did some mess up things and you know got away with it and I said you know what I I wasn't able to get you fired but I'm gonna be on your favorite TV show like I was just overhearing them talk and I was like I can't go on the Bachelor I can't go on the the Mask Singer but I could go on Big Brother um, my first audition I was like oh this show is trash like I literally told producers like you need me on this show because this show is trash and they're like no 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 no, you're insulting us girl go watch the show before you speak on us and then I watched the show and was like oh I actually like this that's so funny I didn't yeah. know that yeah so it, 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 I don't even know if it was a dream per se it was more so like you know I have this little thing that I started that I'm trying to finish but like Hey, it would be kind of cool to like be on this show at the same time. So it, it's a bit of both, a little, little bit of pettiness and a little bit of a dream. But it wasn't like I must go on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, no, it was. It was. It wasn't one of those. Uh, your exit speech was fucking straightforward. Like it was like click. Like did you plan that? Like was it like planned or were you just like it just came out like ready to go? Um. So. Um, you know, there was a lot happening when, you know, I got put on the block and then, um, you know, I, I did okay in that, that veto competition. I had like two more balls left. Obviously, Jace, the uh, veto princess, snatched that. And then, you know, like, Helena grabbed me into the pan. She was just to just say, like, you know, Summer, I'm not voting for you. Jay said, like, I know I told you I can, I was going to vote for you, but I can. And then Kevin, you know, wasn't even talking to me. I was like, I thought you were my home boy. Like, you know, what's going on? So after after that whole situation that they did not even throw on the TV show, I was like, you know what? Arissa, you're giving me 15 seconds to say something to these people. I have nothing to say. Yes. Okay, so I have a question. So in one of yes. your um, previous, like, interviews, you said that you would be, like, in a no man's over a show man's. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if you think things might have been different if JC wasn't in the house. Would things be different? Um, maybe because it's like a whole other, it's a whole other different game, but I definitely would have stuck to not being in a showman. For one, I find showmances, um, especially if they're like good at competitions, to be disrespectful because like, why would I want to be in, in this bed after I knew that you guys just did this? something you know yeah so, um it's just like no and like who's trying to work with people who like you know are sleeping together like no so yeah if, if you're if, if the question is like oh if jace wasn't there what i've tried you know no like no one's gonna go up <laughs> in that show like and do that like i i, I love showmances like like for example Ika and dimitri but at my core i think showmances are so ghetto like imagine starting a relationship while you're playing uno like, what are you doing? You're playing a game. <laughs> you know, that's actually hilarious because I don't know if you saw my interview with uh, JC and Gino. And yes, Tanisha <laughs> told me about it. And I was like, oh, let me watch this. Even though I always, you know, I always stay, you know, on track with what you're doing. But I was in Ghana, so I didn't really have time to, like, catch up on all the episodes. And then Tanisha was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> your name was and I was like, oh, all right, let me, let me, let me stop what I'm doing and watch the episode. 
so. That is so funny. Yeah. So yeah, she didn't see your name directly. You know, I was just curious, but anything you want to say to JC about that? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's nothing to say. You know, everyone's entitled to feel the way that they want to feel or how they felt. I'm very grateful that they did thank me. They said that you know I'm part of the reason why you know they were able to figure out that they really liked each other whatever whatever i don't yeah, even know if that was a dad but you're welcome so that's all i have to say is you're welcome i'm literally dying that's actually so funny summer is there anything we didn't see in jury like not even related to um, just you and you know but just in jury in general you know what i'll say is like i'll say that we were made to seem like we're unproblematic people. And in the jury house, you would probably see that like, some people are actually very problematic. Like, oh my gosh, you're asking, you, this is how you actually feel. Um, but you know, I guess with, um, with training, I have no idea. I have no idea what people go through to get onto the show. Well. I mean, I do, but I don't at the same time. Um, okay, so how about in the house? Was there any, like, hookups in the house? I don't know if you heard this, but there was a few rumors going on about you and Jaman. Is that, you want anything you no. want to clear? <laughs> in the, in the, no, 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 like, like I said, like, I never asked for privacy once. Yes. I never won HOH. Yes. I wasn't about to, like, you know, try and do things while people are in the room. No, it was very much a flirt, man. Um, yeah. The only people who were, you know, asking for privacy, you already know. We already know. Okay. Yes. Right, I love it. Yes. All right. So I, I had to hit you with the tea. I'm like, if anyone's going to give it to me straight, it's summer. So, yes. So I was on your Twitter. And I was like, okay, I got to get some tea. got to get some tea. And this really made me laugh because you reposted um, a tweet where it asked, like, which call more? Like, season nine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Or BBUS 34. And you picked. Kyle Moore from season nine. I don't even know that man. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know that man. So I just wanted to know if this still stands. Like, like is that okay. like? Let's put this in like a like if you had to marry one of them right now. <laughs> okay, you know what? Come to think of it, like I was actually gonna tweet again that like I changed my my mind because I don't know the Kyle Moore from BBK Nine. I have no idea who this man is. So it's like, how am I going to even generate an opinion? When I took the time to really think about Kyle from my season, he had the right idea. Putting Josh on the block was the right idea. What do you, what do you think of it from, you know, the from start to end? So like yeah. Kyle actually had my back, but I did not see it. I had to wait until the end. How many times would you say you've been on a plane, like in your lifetime? Um, like, is it like normal amount, crazy amount, little? I would say that it's a normal amount. I feel like it's not as much as I would like it to be, but yeah. I've traveled to China, Cuba, Ghana, and you know, um, I've had like quite a few overlays and to get to the, the motherland, you have to like stop in quite a few places. So it's like, you know, I've been on quite a few planes just because the destinations that I like to go to, you know, takes a minute to get to. What would you say is like the biggest difference between Canada and some of the places you travel? Let's say Jamaica. Like, um, what was, like the food, I would, the culture, like the weather. I would say the biggest difference is, um, I would say like convenience and accessibility. So Ooh. for example, like if I am, you know, very thirsty, in Canada, like, I need to walk to a convenience store. But in Ghana, for example, even though, you know, Jamaica was the the country that you wanted me to reference, but, well, I'll use Ghana. Anywhere. Anywhere. Um, yeah. So, for example, in Ghana or Colombia, and actually even in Jamaica, you could walk up the street. There's somebody, you know, selling water on their head. There's somebody who's selling, like, avocados and whatnot. So, it's like, by the time you get from point A to point B, you can have all of your groceries. A whole wow. meal. But what would your dream vacation be? I feel like you know the world and places. Like, where would your, um, like... My dream vacation. I honestly would love to do um, a motherland tour, like just explore the whole continent. That'd be nice. I have a list of places that I'm hoping to go um, next year, and it's New York, California, Japan, and Australia. So I hope to get all of those, you know, accomplished. <laughs> 
by next year. I gotta save a lot, but yes, yes, gotta gotta save, gotta save. Well, yeah, I wish you all the luck with that. Definitely, yeah. definitely keep them going. And while you go to all these vacation spots, I will be waiting for the Say Some show to be yeah. um, releasing. So you're the host yeah. of your show. You're crashing parties. You're traveling. You're spending money, saving money. You're yes. doing videos on how to get on Big Brother Canada. Uh, you're yeah. doing it all. When did the Say Some show start? Because I know it was before Big Brother. It was. So the Say Some show started in 2018. So I know, I know I said we're going to be looking forward to some, some vlogs and your vacation, but is there anything else we can expect to see in a little bit? I know you're thinking of um, some videos you're going to do. Can we yeah. Get that? So I mean, after this, I was hoping to take myself on a little date night. So maybe I can turn that into a vlog. Um, because why not? I'm trying to, you know, encourage people to love themselves better and, you know, just to enjoy the company of themselves. You were just in a music video. Yes. What was that? Champagne. About? Yeah. Ooh, you um, were looking by Kitty. Yes, you know, it's reached two million views. So I think that's more views than a Big Brother episode. I think. I don't know if we get two million. I don't know. So this is so off topic. I'm not this this, this does not relate. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on strippers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like they're making their money. I don't really have an opinion on them. They provide a service. Um, they provide entertainment. If you've ever been to a party and there's a stripper there, they, they bring the fire and the heat yeah. if they're good ones. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you know, they provide a service that, you know, is in demand and they make their money. I really did want to ask you about one of your personal accomplishments, which was obtaining a degree. What? What? Yeah. I don't even know. T tell me about this. D doing it all again. Yes, so um, I got it at Brock University, and my major was sociology, and I minored in Indigenous Studies. Oh, wow! That's amazing! Yeah, and I got it while grieving. Um, so I, I didn't expect to get my degree. I thought it was gonna, it, I thought it was gonna be something that was gonna take me a long time, but I was able to translate my grief into powerful essays, and your girl got it. So, Your girl did it again. Yes, ah, yes, yes so you paper, did. This paper represents so much for me, and I'm I'm happy to get to look at it every day, and it inspires me to you know keep going and use all the knowledge that I've obtained to just make myself a better person and the world a better place. Yeah, seriously, you're doing that. You're literally doing that. Uh, so as you may or may not know, at the end of every episode, I do give my guests a chance to ask me a question if they have one. Okay. All right, so <laughs> even though this has nothing to do with you, and I asked you this question before, but I was like, I'm gonna ask you again because I'm you're ready. a little litty at the time. <laughs> I saw I saw on Twitter that Brayden and Sean were actually a showman, and apparently Sean got the got cost three thousand <laughs> on Big Brother. I you cannot... know that's true. I can't know. I can't show man. <laughs> so I literally they were they did not have a show man. They literally when you live in a house with someone like that, of course you build your friendship, your relationship. Yes. Ty is a smart man. Yes. He won the game. Okay? And you know what they're gonna say what they're gonna say. Um but if I hear anything else or, or anything else comes to light, you'll be the first to know something. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on Spill the Tea with Spicy Tea. I had the you. best time with you, Summer. Thank you so much for coming on. Of course. <laughs>